Mm. Tracking wow. lots of uh, rain in store for us over the next couple of days. Uh, we are expecting uh, some of the rain to actually produce some flooding concerns, especially in the parts of southeast Missouri. Light showers continue to fall across parts of southern Illinois. Uh, some heavier rain still west of the Mississippi River getting ready to cross, though, into southwest Illinois. Uh, a couple light showers here over the last few hours from Carbondale to Marion and Harrisburg and even eastward over towards Shawneetown. Still some light rain showers through parts of southern Gallatin County, much of Hardin County and Pope County also seen some light rain. Notice, though, the uh, yellows there showing up on rain radar this morning from Perryville back over towards Sedgwickville and then Marquan, a southeastern corner there of Madison County uh, that continues to track eastward right along I-55 will be moving into uh, southwest Illinois. So Gorham, Grand Tower, southward also into Union County, Wolf Lake, where you guys are likely to pick up on some rain over the next couple of hours. Uh, we'll start to pick up probably in about 30 minutes or so. So uh, get ready, uh, have the umbrella handy. It's going to be this way through much of the day. Live view from Perryville this morning. Uh, they've seen already some rain move through and uh, rain starting to pick back up there at the airport just across the river from Chester, Illinois. 42 degrees currently. Uh, winds are light this morning out of the east and the northeast. We'll keep winds uh, fairly light through the day, but then tonight uh, as the rain begins to really pick up, we expect some of the heaviest rain later on this evening. And then after midnight, winds also will really pick up from the south. So temperatures continue to rise through this evening. And then after midnight, we're thinking that uh, we could see some wind gusts that may top 40 miles per hour, and I can't rule out some isolated gusts even higher than 50 miles per hour. Very late tonight and into early Thursday morning. By daybreak Thursday, the rain is clearing to our east. Uh, Thursday, kind of a cool, blustery day as we will have uh, quite a bit of wind around, at least through Thursday morning. And then tracking yet another storm system. Another disturbance on Friday is going to bring us some light rain showers, but uh, temperatures are cold enough where we could see some light snow mixing in with that. And this is a very big storm system. Uh, a lot of moisture getting drawn up out of the Gulf of Mexico. This one moving out of Texas. It's going to start tracking pretty much northward uh, right through parts of northwest Arkansas and into central Missouri. Notice a lot of the moisture getting pulled up into uh, northwest Arkansas though right now and right into the Ozarks. That is some of the rain that is heading our way. So let's start this out at 7 a.m. Uh, so for about an hour, hour and 15 from now. There's where the rain will be primarily across uh, parts of southeast Missouri and western Kentucky, but then later on this afternoon, there it is becoming pretty widespread. I don't think we're going to see a lot of thunder or a lot of lightning with this, but especially in the southern Illinois and southeast Missouri, this rain is going to be extremely heavy at times, even into the evening hours. Notice the timing here about nine o'clock. We're into the upper 40s and lower 50s, but temperatures continue to rise. Warm front lifting northward. So after midnight, we're talking temperatures that may be near 60 degrees. Watch this thin line of showers, though. Not a a lot of thunder, not a lot of lightning with this, but there's going to be some very strong winds associated with this line of showers as it moves through again anywhere from about 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. crossing our region. And uh, by daybreak, there's the rain exiting mostly cloudy skies through a good part of the day on Thursday with temperatures only in the low 50s. Here's that secondary disturbance uh, brings a chance for some light rain. I think we're going to have so uh, some light snow maybe mixing in from time to time. Storm Prediction Center keeping us in a level one on a scale of one to five isolated strong wind gusts. The primary concern, the tornado threat extremely low. We're not expecting that tonight. Main concern is going to be strong winds and potentially some flooding concerns, especially in the southeast Missouri. There's that flooding threat. Uh, rainfall amounts about one to two inches, uh, especially near the Wabash River Valley, a little higher in the southeast Missouri, where we're expecting a two to three inches of rainfall over the next couple of days. There's that secondary uh, chance for some precipitation. Again, rain, snow mix, uh, not talking accumulation at this point on Friday, but then we'll dry out this weekend. Uh, we'll start to warm back up as well by Sunday. We're back in the 50s, uh, mid 50s on the way towards the middle of next week with more rain on the horizon as well by next Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, so we just got to get through today. All right.